Good morning, it's Tuesday 27th of June 2017. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.rdvenang.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, Storming of Health Ministry, two more suspects arrested. Police have arrested two other suspects in connection with a recent incident where protesting students forcibly entered the health ministry premises and damaged public property. Police arrested Dinesh Madurang of the University of Fine Arts for allegedly damaging public property. Another highlight says, 8 million rupees robbed from van on highway. A group of armed men had fled after robbing nearly 8 million rupees belonging to a clothing store while the money was being taken from one of the shop's branches in Batala to another branch in Kadavata in a van. The highlight in the middle says, Puttalam landfill ready by 2019. Megapolis and Western Development Minister Patele Champika Ranavaka said work on the Aravakulu Sanctuary landfill in Putalam will begin in September and it will be fully operational by early 2019. The government will also establish a central waste management authority responsible for the waste management of the whole country, the minister said. Let's now look at the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, Sagala Storm Cinnamon Gardens Police Quarters. Law and Order Minister Sagala Ratnaika paid a surprise visit to the 10-storey quarters building of the Cinnamon Gardens Police Station early yesterday and apparently appalled by its deplorable status, ordered immediate renovations to it, the Daily Mirror learns. Another highlight says, 20 stab wounds in neck and body, says JMO. The Judicial Medical Officer of the Colombo South Teaching Hospital has revealed in his autopsy report that the murder of 26-year-old Karindi Aloka, who lived in a luxury house in Kotava had taken place due to internal bleeding caused by 20 stabbings inflicted on her neck and body. The highlight in the middle says, Dengue epidemic. Hospital labs to be kept open for blood tests. With the number of dengue patients increasing to 70,100 cases and this to 209 as of yesterday, the Health Ministry has instructed the directors of teaching, district and base hospitals to keep their laboratories open round the clock to facilitate blood tests for patients. And now let's move to the paper highlights since launch today. The top highlight says, 40 billion rupees no needed to correct flaws, says Professor Kumaragi. Correcting planning flaws of the Colombo Katanaika Expressway will cost the government another whopping 40 billion rupees, a frontline university pedagogue said last night. The new Kalani Bridge has been formulated as a solution to the badly planned and implemented Colombo Katanaika Expressway, will cost another 40 billion rupees or more, Moratua University's senior professor of the Transport and Logistics Department, Professor Amal Kumaragi, told the Ceylon today last night. The highlight in the middle says, GMOA threatens another strike. The Government Medical Officers Association yesterday stressed that countrywide strike will be launched on Friday if the government fails to take a decision to nationalize the South Asian Institute of Technology and Medicine. Another highlight says, Government to issue fresh statement. The government is to issue a fresh statement on issues regarding the South Asian Institute of Technology and Medicine following concerns raised by the Government Medical Officers Association, a senior official said yesterday. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.